What is the color of autumn in your mind? When talking about autumn, what are the first outfits coming into your mind? Hi, my name is Cici. If you can only pick five pieces for your autumn wardrobe, what will you pick to create unlimited looks for a perfect autumn? Today, I'm going to share with you five must-haves in my opinion for this coming season. Thinking about a day for work, a day for hanging out with family and friends, a day for grocery shopping, or a day for a cup of coffee. What top would you reach without thinking? My answer would be a striped top. So the first must-have I would love to share with you is a striped tee. I would say create a look with a striped tee is effortless, but it could provide you a confident, comfortable, and cozy look. One of the looks straightly coming into my mind is pairing it with jeans. If you are looking for some layers or if the weather gets cold, you could also layer it up with a coat. It is all depending on how the weather is in your city. For me, here we have 90 to 100 Fahrenheit, about above 30 Celsius for September. So I would save this look for later. If you are in a similar weather with me or you prefer not to add layers, I highly recommend you to pick some striped tee with designing details like buttons on the shoulder, bow on the shoulder, a knot at the back, or any other details that catch your eyes. The second must-have, which is my favorite, is a midi or maxi-length pleated or wrinkle skirt. I have some reasons to explain here. I'm now 8 months postpartum and my waist is much bigger than before. I would never sacrifice coziness and comforts for a good look. So I found skirt which has elastic band in the waist is so easy to slip on. I found the pleats are so feminine, elegant, looks very sophisticated. You can easily dress up for a date night. The more casual option is a wrinkle skirt, which is also flattering with a lot of tops. I pair it with knitwear. It's very comfortable. The length of the skirt is perfect for a workday. Bonus is skirt always can boost my mood, and I love hand knit. I was always looking for bottoms which can perfectly match with my knits. If you don't knit, a pleated or wrinkled skirt is also definitely a good match to your purchased knitwear. A go-to bottom item for autumn, I'm pretty sure many of you would say jeans. So I guess I would skip jeans here and share with you another pants that I found very easy to wear but still flattering which is a plaid pants. The pants I'm showing you has 2% elastin which makes it stretchy. This little stretchiness improves the comfort level so much and make me want to wear it more. The plate pants goes perfectly with shirts, blouses, or knitwears. A coat, whether a light one or a thick one, both works to add this autumn more warmness and help create layered looks. This light trench coat brings out more softness, creates a more flowy look. You don't usually expect this from a traditional trench coat. Consider to add a more structured layer under it like shirt. The thickness works really well in early autumn when you just want one more layer. The traditional trench coat is more structured and thicker in fabric. To bring out more contrast, consider to add more flowy softness under it, like t-shirts, blouses, lace knitwears, dresses, etc. The number one shoes for autumn in my mind is a pair of loafer or boots. 
I personally would pick boots. It can be dressed up with fancy skirts or dresses for a date night, wedding, or some special occasions. At the same time, it can also be dressed down when pairing with jeans. I've shared five must-haves in my opinion for this beautiful autumn weather. I hope this video could give you some styling inspirations. You don't have to buy the exact same pieces. Also, I'm sure you guys will have different ideas or wardrobe must-haves. Welcome to leave a comment to share with me your must-haves for this golden season. If you like chatty styling videos like this, please hit the like button to let me know or consider subscribe to support my channel. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.